Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more SnowRunner. We are here in the lowland and the contract that we want to take is old sawmill. It says 4x metal beam, 4x cement, 2 concrete slabs and 4 cabin. The cabin can be constructed here. Uh, I think the requirement is 2 wooden planks in 1 cargo container and then everything else is here you got four metal beams here you got cement here uh, you got uh, concrete slab here wooden plank here so I have a digger here somewhere here so first things first I'm going to take this digger go down this path and from here bring two cargo containers drive it back here then I'm going to take another digger go here go up here through here and get four wooden planks drive it all the way here make uh, two cabins and bring them here then take the other data out refuel and then take it all the way to the other map and there are two cabins already there that's four cabins secondly i'm going to take the twin steer take it here for uh, two concrete slabs bring it back here recover go again this same route try to follow this path try to come here and get four cements throw them here then uh, probably get the glob out it's been a while take the A slot go this way try to come up here and deliver that so that's the plan actually let's do the glob first so go to truck store and let's go to heavy and yeah my favorite glob first so we do this we do that what's the time morning it's okay so we start this we get the age slot first This is going to be a long one. I'll try and put everything in one video because I don't want to make two part videos for such a simple thing. And then we go here, go to trailer store, it's slot heavy. Uh, where is the eight slot? This one. It's a terrible trailer. Let's reverse it into place. There, go cargo and then one, two, three, four. We got all cargo. That's sorted. Now I'm gonna go this way. Glob should be hand uh, should be able to handle the weight. Uh, we've done so many missions with this one before and hundred percent successful rate. So let's see how this one goes. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. This is definitely going to get stuck here. I don't want to do that. So instead, we'll go like that and see, mark my route first. This is the route. That. And this. So cool. Try to keep it in on flat ground so the bloody thing doesn't get stuck. Ground clearance is alright. Uh, pulling power is alright, which frankly is what matters. Let's 
Ding for the Indy High. Okay, no. High is not going to work. So I was just saying down clearance is okay. Apparently not. I hate this trailer. This trailer is just so bloody stupid. I hate it. And where was I when she do? Okay. Here and then go. Power of the winch. There you go, you stupid trailer. Then take a turn here and just drive up. Again, winch needed. Of course, this trailer is the worst trailer. But saves me from doing two trips. So, why not? And then this is like a rear steering pulling that. <laughs> okay, now up we go. Well, I'm driving pretty slow. Pretty slow. A lot of clanking noise. I'm just going to put this into a low high and then let it go. I'm just going to climb up in here so my bloody trailer can climb and then. No. So I'm gonna climb up even higher. Even higher. Go clock. Am I getting stuck? Yeah, the trailer is getting stuck. So uh, let's try this. There you go. Stupid trailer. Try to keep the club up high, and then it's just going to pull the thing with it. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Not worried about the fuel consumption at all. It's just, it's just like a one minute drive. But since the trailer is super and the cargo delivery is necessary, I'm just gonna stick with it. Ah, splendid. That you was supposed to block my way, I'm using it as an anchor. Thank you. Three. That went better than expected. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. A little bit here, a little bit there. A driving super massive trailer, it's bound to give us some problem. So go here, one, two, three, four. That's four. Switch this thing off. Go here. Uh, little garage. Truck store twin steer. And then leave. 
first off I'm gonna go get the concrete slabs so the concrete slab is in the warehouse near the this thing near the exit the other maps exit I'm just going to put this in for you. Ah, that's okay. A little bit of damage here and there. It's okay. Put this into high and let's floor it. Again, not worried about fuel consumption, it's just a small trip on the same map. The only thing that I'm worried about is tipping this truck. Uh, it is tip happy. Uh, yeah, like that. And then with the cargo, this is going to be disastrous. So that's what we're going to watch out for. Apart from that, uh, yeah. Apart from that, there are no real issues. And then I'm thinking, instead of making four cabins, which would be four metal beams and eight, uh, this thing, eight uh, wooden planks, why don't I get the two metal beams and four wooden planks? and then get the other two cabins from the other map I've gone through the list of cabins that we're gonna need and we're just going to need four in total and there are two on that map for some reason so my thinking is since they've given us cabin we'll just take it Did I miss my warehouse turn? No, it's this one. Yeah, so I didn't miss it. Okay. Second time lucky. I'm going to go this way. The tip happy truck so far is performing real good. It's okay, it's okay, I know. There you go. Little bit of problem. So we reached here. Now what we want to do is turn this thing around first. Easier to turn around when it's not loading. Okay, and I want concrete slab one, two. That's that. And then go back to uh, the sawmill. I think the cargo is going to make the truck more stable through this. Excellent. 
A little bit of damage is okay. Just have to drive it properly. And then put it into high gear. The question is, should I go from here or should I go all the way straight and then take this route up? Ah, I think I'm gonna try this route this time. It's okay, it's okay. So I know this fucking driving the swamp, no problem. And that way I can just float it. Should save me some time. Or at least that is what I'm thinking. That's cool. I'll just keep following my markers, keep the pack in the high. And I'm not using too much fuel, so the fuel consumption isn't bad either. This bit I've done before. Yeah, so this is pretty much doable. No, no need. I can just go directly here. Still in high. That's okay, I can just go to diff, uh, get this marker out, get this marker out. I'm doing alright. Put this into low high, and as soon as it picks up momentum, put it into high again. the truck straight and there you go that went well still in high still in high down Try to cut across here. And there we are. Cargo manager is one, two. Cool. So now, uh, I'm just going to recover this and go to the six. Right here, right this way, get the two cargo containers first. As you know from the previous mission, the Zix is already here, so it saves us the drive from uh, uh, this thing right there. And then go. And then later at the fuel station, you can just attach the trailer. Uh, 
this is the landslide mission that we did last time. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. You guys are angry. And... Very angry, not just angry. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I do your worst. I'm still gonna drive this, it's the same way I was driving. Okay, go here. Uh, go attach trailer and fill the zigzag. There you go. Uh, go repair, repair that car. And then what we want to do is, I think, uh, this room is good. So we go here, we go here, we go here and here. Then I can turn here, go here, here, there. So let's do that. Yeah, I've driven down here before, the just can take it, no problem. I don't need to worry about keeping this thing in high, it will anyway be in the highest gear through or through all of this. Yeah, pretty simple to be And then you want to cut across there. Yeah. Go that way. Now it's just too high gear because of the nerve that's going on. Unnecessary nerve. Keep this in high gear for this crossing. And then as soon as we hit the tarmac, we're gonna go back to uh, auto. There you go. Switch back to auto. And go get uh, two cargo containers. I'm yet to get the cement. Whoa, what was that? So either I can do a two cargo containers and then do cement or I can do two cargo containers and then do four uh, wooden planks then do cement and then do the other cargo containers which are on the other map or I can do is get these two cargo containers and then drive to the other map and get the two uh, cabin things come back, do the cement, and then do the wooden uh, blocks, so we can make two more cargo containers, and uh, yeah. So, well, we have options, we have a lot of options actually. Let's, oh, okay. I think I just want to turn, turn around first. There you go. Uh, and we want cargo container and cargo container. Thank you. We'll go back the same way we came. Deliver this to the cabin construction zone.
Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me damages from... I don't know, just give me damage from air, I don't mind. You can break my truck, you cannot break my spirit. Aha! so far yeah that's the second time they've done it but like I said you can break my truck you cannot break my spirit look at that Full speed and look at my speed. <laughs> this is stupid. Come on, boy. Why do I go this way? I hate it. Should have gone that way. Is this unnecessary nerf going on? So I think I'm just gonna go like that instead of going like this. This should be better. Yeah, thought so. Because this is unprogrammed. That one is programmed nerf. So yeah, I know how you think, developers. Okay, go like that. over nice and easy there you go now put it into auto cabin construction building that's where we're going to deliver these two cargo containers so far so good slow but all right A little bit of hammering from the environment, unnecessary. But it's okay, not the end of the world. Okay. I hate this. Little pebble just breaking speed. Look at that. Dude, it's just six! It can climb anything, it can go anywhere. Stop trying to stop me with pebbles. I don't mind a challenge, because this is just stupid. That's not a challenge, that's just... They ran out of things to do. They said, ah, you know what? We put tiny rocks and give them... a huge stopping power. And then big hitboxes. Oh uh, yeah. Should become a pain in the ass. Instead of a challenge where it is what it is. Okay. Here we are. So this is an awful cargo. And then I've got one. And two. And then I need four uh this thing four wooden planks i think two are here yeah and then two are here no metal beams are here which i don't need so 
What do I need next? Cement. Cement is here. So uh, uh, uh. I'm thinking go out from here. Here, 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 here. Uh we need this road. Then go this way. And this one. Yeah. Cut across here. So that's what we're gonna do for cement now. I go truck store, get the twin steer again and continue. So the reason I, uh, I like this twin steer is, as you can see, when you put it into high, it just maintains a constant speed. And with these 63 inch, 61 inch tires, it's a good truck. The 63 inch tires help. And then once you're done delivering the cargo, you can just directly recover it. There's no trailer, there's no, no hassle, actually. That's why I like this truck, to be honest. is because recovering this thing is easy. There's just one single truck that you can just recover. So, I'm gonna go through this way through our most beloved snow unnecessary snow and then turn this way and then hit the snow Yeah, I'm surprised I hit the boat and in a pole and it didn't drop down into first. There you go. Unnecessary now. Come on, let me get out of this. Uh, bloody markers. See? Because of the marker, now I missed it. Never mind. I'm just gonna go down here and then catch this one. Like what we did last time. Or I can do that. and then catch that. Okay. Get this thing out, get this thing out. Get the momentum going. What am I going that way? It's too late to turn now. It's too late. I don't want to get this truck stuck for no reason. Just because I want a shortcut or a faster route. So, I'm just gonna go like this. Go through this bit and then turn out that way. There's enough. You see, it just completely stops. So that's why you don't go exactly as they've planned the rule because they've purposely nerfed it. And the programming doesn't exist here. 
but we know what we thought you can drive here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do to drive here. Go like that, go like that, turn up. There you go. So I guess no need to go there. We can turn from here, this is perfectly doable. And then up and over. That is cool. Still trying to float it as best I can to get into high gear. And done. And then done again quickly. Whoa, where did I get the damage from? And through here, high gear doesn't work, so put it into low high, put the diffs on. Sometimes low high also doesn't work, so just put it into low. There you go, making progress, cool. Now put it into low high. Go that way and then go oh, here go cargo management. We are getting cement. One uh, one two three four. Cool. Then what we're gonna do is turn ready. What did I hit? Yeah, so the only problem is this turn. Otherwise, everything is okay. I put it into uh, low high, put the diffs on. There we go. And just climb up, come on. That wild swing, I don't know what that is. So just keep it into low high and watch out for that wild swing it's still alright, it's still alright there you go Okay, bang in the fourth. High gear. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. We can go through here like before. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Okay, never mind. Just gonna get rid of all these stupid markers. And then 
close. Land probably like this, this, this. And that way. So start the pack again. Go to the low. Go. So just get out of this bit and then turn there. Whoa, watch with the drop frame. Let's go, let's go. Almost there, almost there. Yeah, it's okay, marker. I know. I just want to go through here. That's the reason I have snorkel. Come on, come on, keep up. Okay. The time. So we put it into low. Get the diffs on. And get through this bit with the diffs on. Just a little more. Just a little more. Come on. There you go. There you go. And then put it into fold. It's almost evening. We may have to switch time. But it's okay. We're going to switch truck. We're going to switch time. And I'm having some issue with the drop frame. So I'm just going to deliver this and then check what's wrong with my system and then come back and then do the rest of the mission. Yeah, definitely lagging. Mm, here we are. So, cargo management. One. Two, three, four, and then cabbing. I think I'm gonna use this again. So recover and then switch the time to morning. Get rid of this. All right, now what I want to do is uh, where's my six? So oh, should I drive this or? I'll just get the other six out. Yeah, we can arch. And let's switch to afternoon. And then we are going to the other map to get the cabins. Stop here. Get myself this, and let's go. And then I have to get four wooden planks and make two more cabins. If all goes according to plan, we should be alright. Hey, 
Easy here. Dodging the snow. Super snow, I should say. Not bad, not bad. Avoid the water. Let's keep on the side as best as I can. Let's go through the bloody snow. as best I can. Get out of it. There you go. Excellent. And then we have discovered that this is possible. Okay, come on. Actually, I didn't want to come this way. I came the wrong way. I had to go up. No. Okay, it's pointless pushing here. So the coming back, this is proper, but going, this is not. Just trying to get to the other map. Please. Trying to make progress. So far, so good. Go through here and then I think straight ahead I can see the road and then just join the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm just gonna mark my way so I know better. Uh, Cabin it needs. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm bringing cabin. That's where I'm going. So it's either that, I'll bring cabin, or I can bring four wood and two cargo containers. 
which is also possible, which is also possible, within this map only. I think I'm just gonna go and get the other cargo container because then they're useless. And the drive itself is not too bad. And they're also because I just want to do a few change of scenery is pretty uh, repetitive driving the same map again and again and again. I mean we've been doing I don't know how many missions and we've just been on this singular map. So let's go to the other one. Just for a change of scenery. I'll show you in a while what I'm talking about, where the cabins are. It's actually not very far in this map, it's just you enter, you turn right, go a little, just a little ahead and then there are two cabins, which we can bring back. Okay. So, we are here. There's a route here somewhere. I think it's after crossing this. Uh, this one. Yeah. Then you turn here and then it's straight up. There you go, there the arrow is showing. That is where you get the two cargo containers. Uh, the cabin is not cargo containers. It's not that far. Plus, it's all. Uh, what the hell? It's all uh, tarmac, so shouldn't be that difficult. A little landslide is no problem. Nothing major, the zigs can cross. I said the zigs can cross, I didn't say the zigs will get stuck. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, because I remember we were doing some uh, exploration in this one or I don't know we were delivering something I can't remember yeah it went down from here but this time which is gonna go straight up there it is that's where you get the cabins Yeah, as you can see, the loading icon is coming. That's where you go. And then you turn around. Come here. Go cabin. And then cabin. That's the two cabins. We made it for someone. And if we can use it, why not? I'm seeing a market. 
some reason I'm seeing a marker. Why do we just go back here? Try to jump this roadblock and then that's that. Simple easy. Once the roadblock is done, then you're all right. I think the cabin zone is a is a manual unloading zone. I'm not sure, but we'll see. If I came from here, just turn this way. And then remember where you came from. I came from there. Yeah, I said remember where you came from, not hit a tree. But okay. Hitting a tree will make you remember. And then you turn that way and you go back to the other map where you need to deliver this cabin. So far so good. Okay, first is first, mark our route. I'm gonna go down here, this way, this way, this way. This way, this way, that way, this way, here, 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 and here, and here. Is there an opening? I think so. So yeah, that's the route. Let's go. Then I'm left with four wooden planks, the creation of uh, two more cabins, and then the delivery of two more cabins. Okay, nice and slow, don't tip it. Actually, with the Zix, I'm not worried about it, but you can never be too sure. The moment you keep your guard down, or you let your guard down, rather, the moment the Zix tips. Actually, I haven't had an incident where the Zix has tipped, but I don't want to take a chance. Actually, I'm just going to go like this you see going that way is difficult going this way is still all right you're with the current Really? This is with the current dude. With, with, not against, with. Oh bloody hell. Dude, up the little hill. And none of my markers have been loyal 
they're just pointing me in some other direction. Okay, so... That is actually steep. I think this is can handle it. Question is can the trailer handle it? Why can't I unload? Ah. Okay. So we have to go the other way. I have to go like this. And then come in from the other side. And then manual unloading. Is this doable? I think so. Okay, so let's do that. Alright, okay, okay. That's two. Switch this thing off. Switch uh, back to change factor Tega. First, switch to afternoon. How much fuel I have? Forty-four percent. I should be all right. And then continue our journey for bringing the wooden planks. Okay, so we're finally here. That is the way to the warehouse. Marker, you had one job. Okay, uh, go here, get rid of this marker. We have to go forward in planks here, okay? And the route is just follow this. Cool. Climb this. Come on, I've done this before. The melting snow is what you should follow. There you go. And then straight. Now you can switch out of flow. 
and into water. The going is slow, but it's still doable. No, that's not it. I've taken a wrong turn somewhere. Uh, okay. Okay, this is the thing. Now, do you see anything? Uh, okay. What happened? I've done this before. It's not that difficult. Okay. I think I'm going to go back here and do what I'm not supposed to do. Go this way. Yeah. That is what I meant to do. There you go, in the clear. Cargo management, uh, wooden planks, one, two, and then truck, one, two. Cool, heading back. Follow this simple route back. Remember, we came to here, I think. What is the trailer getting stuck? No. But it will get stuck here. So we will go like this. And then we will just go down. Like that. The rest is just downhill, downhill is easy. From here, uh, get to the back. Then you want to go like this. Slowly. Easy does it. There you go, that's my track. And we're right out. Let's go to the cabin production site.
we are here finally this video has been one hour plus I don't know that I need so many things there you go uh, we got uh, put in plants then I've got one two then I've got a uh, change truck to the other six and cargo and I wanna load one here and one in the trailer cool so I'll go out uh, this way this way this way this way this way this way let's do this let's get it done Finish this thing. Lights have come on. So Yeah, 37,200 for the effort, which is cool. And switch this thing on, and that's how you complete old sawmill. Now we are on to trailer with equipment, which is the next one. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like the content. And please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Already, I post new videos every day. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.